Hello Kerbal Ears, this is what you've been waiting for, PFC4 Retro World War II Era Dogfight Rules. I'm looking for single or twin engine propeller driven fighters from the World War II Era. The mods allowed will be BDA Continued, Fire Spitter and Airplanes Plus. No countermeasures or missiles. A maximum of 75 parts. Must have a cockpit with a Kerbal, no drones. 50 cal guns only. Maximum of 6, so you're allowed 6 Brownings. The planes have to look like they could fly or have flown in World War II. Fighting, flight ceiling will be set at 4,000 meters. That's the max setting on the AI. I will show you that later. Planes will be tested against themselves on a one-to-one -one battle to prove your flight worthiness. No adjustments will be made by me, the host. The competition will be a two-on-two -two match piloted by BDA's AI in competition mode. No jet engines, fuel air driven propeller engines only, no electric motors. Maximum allowed thrust is 40, 54 kilonewtons. All planes must have one RTG so the batteries don't die during the setup. Please put the name you wish to be called in the craft's description tab inside the, VA, or inside the space plane hangar. Only one person, or one entry per person. One entry per person. Any craft breaking the above stated rules or failing the flight test will be refused. Other than that, the other than those restrictions, you may use any parts from stock and the listed mods to build your plane. To remove any bias, I roll the dice D&D &D style to get the matchups. Okay, I've set up a little example here to show you what engines, cockpits, and all that required parts and setting up. First, the Cyclone is the strongest engine you can use. Right here it says 54 kilonewtons. No stronger than that. Okay? That's the absolute limit. Most of these engines, these engines here are actually a very good example of what to use for World War II era. Okay? You can also use any of these cockpits shown here, including the smooth one. Now, required parts. You must have an RTG somewhere in the plane so the batteries don't die during setup. You need the weapons manager and the AI control. You're allowed to use Browning 50 cal can, uh, machine guns only. Only the Brownings. You need to have, or at least my suggestion is, have one ammo box per machine gun. Setting things up. Uh, you can set up your firing interval and your burst length now. So you can set a short burst or long burst or leave it at default, which is what I do. Uh, range should be set around 5k and the guns range, visual range rather, gun range should be no higher than two kilometers. Okay. For the flight control, 
Ceiling is 4,000. You can set that anywhere underneath 4,000. No higher. All right, the rest of this, you can adjust as you see fit as long as AI, the AI can fly your plane. Setting up the, the browning. There are new settings in the brownings now. Make sure you put, uh, first you have your minimum range and your maximum range. I set the maximum range at 2000. Anything further than that and it's not very accurate. Now you have engage air, uh, ground, missile, and another one down here. Make sure the air is at true and everything else is at false. Okay, that's true for air, false for the other four settings. Okay, you follow me on that? All right, start building. Good luck. To enter the competition, send me an email with your craft file or a link to your craft file to the address shown on the screen. That's graydragon70 at gmail.com. That is the only way to enter PFC4 this time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time, Kerbaliers.